Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Della. I know my room's a mess. I'm in here trying to fold some laundry and it's a rainy day so I'm just trying to knock out some of the videos and talk to you guys about some things that I have been wanting to talk to y'all about. So, I want to talk about my weight. <laughs> I made a video about my weight about seven months ago because I'm seven months post postpartum. So I probably made it about six months ago. Between the time that I made that video and the time of this video, which has been about six months, five months, I have lost a total of maybe five pounds at best. So I wanted to make this video because I think sometimes people think that moms don't want to lose weight or that they're not trying to lose weight or that they're lazy or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera whatever it is right or that they just don't have the discipline i don't know what it is that people think but i don't know i i just don't know but i wanted to get on here and talk about my journey so y'all can know what it's looking like and you know clear some things up um and just so you don't feel alone on this journey because i know it's hard to look at yourself in a picture and not be able to identify who that person is or when you do youtube and you look at your videos and you're like who is this chick on the video now this i'm body positive whatever so if losing weight is not your goal this is not the video for you <clears throat> and i'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with being bigger and i have said this before that i'm breastfeeding so usually you know when i'm breastfeeding i hold on to weight i know they say that you know if you breastfeed the the weight will just fall off that is not the case for me one because i'm very very hungry when i'm breastfeeding and so more hungry than when i'm pregnant and so yeah i do eat but also i think that my body you know they say that your body for survival reasons sometimes will hold on to the weight so listen if things go down i'm gonna survive and my kid is going to survive because my body i'm telling you if i stop breastfeeding literally the next week a lot of times i will drop the weight and anything that i do to lose weight i'm not willing to sacrifice my milk supply for and they say oh you don't have to but i don't know i've yet to meet someone who gets an amazing shape after they have a baby and their milk supply stays the same so anyway some people have it like that some people don't so this is this is just my story <clears throat> and so that's important to me i realized though that i was looking at some video that i did and i was like oh my gosh i don't even know who that person is and i was like if i'm honest with myself I'm losing weight after I've had a, I've gained 50 pounds each pregnancy and losing the weight after I've had each of my babies has always been important to me it's still important to me I've healed and I'm more mature now than when I was in my early 20s and I was doing all this work to snap back after the baby I'm not finna, I'm not about that life anymore but getting back to my pre-baby weight is one of my top priorities because it's important to me for me it's it's an outward an outward expression of my inward discipline and so i know that two don't always correlate because i'm about to talk about that in a minute because i've been working out and what i thought was going to happen did not happen but for the most part to me the way that my husband and i take it is it is an outward expression of our inward discipline our ability to say no to things that are not good for our bodies and saying yes to things that are like working out drinking water all the things I started working out and the reason why i'm taking so what I usually do, I'm proud of myself because what I usually do is I will stop creating content, which is extreme, or doing anything towards any other goal until I lose the weight and then boom, I'll show back up, you know, ready to go because I've, I'll pause my life literally to lose weight and I'm not doing that. So I'm proud of myself for continuing to show up. I put my book out even though I'm overweight and I know that they don't sound correlated. It's a crazy mind thing that has always been a thing for me. But this time, I'm just going to go through the process. Y'all going to see it. It is what it is. You're going to see me. Some people made a comment. I posted up our wedding photo and somebody made a comment on YouTube talking about, oh, you guys have grown together like y'all used to be skinny. Yes, we were much skinnier. We got married when we were babies in our 20s. You know, my husband was like pro athlete in shape. I was slim. I ain't had no kids yet and nothing to do right <laughs> um but anyways i don't even know that i'm trying to get back that small but it is important to us and so that is something i'm about to work on and i'm gonna bring y'all along the journey with me this is not gonna become a health and fitness channel because there are people who are better at that than me but 
the reason why I feel like it's important because as many of you know I am on this mindset journey and <clears throat> you want to talk about something messing up your mind I worked out literally I was waking up 5 a.m. My husband's home now, so I have some help. But my baby goes to sleep when I go to sleep. He wakes up. He listen. The moment you think you have parenting down, a kid will come and humble you. So this love him, but you know. Anyways, so I've been waking up at 5 a.m. I have been doing it for like three weeks straight. This was like last week, and <clears throat> I'm working out first thing in the morning. I didn't check the scale and I checked the scale I think two weeks after two to three weeks I don't know y'all two to three weeks after doing that to hopefully see some movement on the scale in the positive direction I had gained weight and I know all the reasons that the the internet gives about like you know your muscles can you know be stressed from the working out until your body adjusts and then you'll there will be the whooshing effect and you'll lose the weight or whatever. All of that is good and dandy and I believe there's facts to it. But the, I'm telling y'all, the, the psychological thing that happens to you when you step on that scale and it goes up instead of down, if you've been denying your sweets and stuff, you just want to go. Literally, I had a moment where I was like, why would I even work out right now? I'm about to go back to bed. Everything in my flesh wanted to go back to bed and get back in the bed and not work out. But I'm proud of myself because I still worked out. I said, you know what, Della, even if you're not losing weight, you're learning to keep commitments to yourself. And so there is a lot that goes into weight loss that has nothing to do with the weight at all. And that's what I'm trying to share with y'all. That's what I'm trying to have y'all see. And I just want to keep showing up because maybe, hopefully, I don't know, one day I'll be watching this and I'll be where I want to be, which... I have 50 pounds to lose y'all that's a lot of weight and it's hard work but I'm not gonna give up because I want the results that I want and I want to show myself that I can do the things that I put my mind to that's what losing weight has always been about for me and I want to look good I want to feel good and side note if you have pelvic floor issues the type of workouts that I've been doing I haven't been doing my pelvic floor workouts but I found that doing the workouts that I'm doing I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing and what my plan is and everything after this but the type of workouts that I'm doing, they have made intercourse <laughs> more comfortable. So if that is a struggle for you, I highly recommend, okay? Because that, that's a bonus. That's a non-scale victory. And it's just little things. It's like, I miss wearing my wedding ring. I have not worn my wedding ring in like a year because it doesn't fit. And I can't wait for the day that I can slide my wedding ring on my finger. I just cannot wait. And I have other these other little goals set up. So uh, right now, I'm well above 200 pounds, which is so hard, y'all, because let me tell you the mind, the mind thing again. I have not given weight. Like, okay, so my other three babies, I gave birth to them a little above 200 pounds. Now, I've already had the baby. I've been had the baby. <laughs> Seven months ago, I had the baby. And... I'm sitting at like 215 pounds. Like, I don't care. I'll give numbers. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm 5'7". And so I'm I'm sitting at a weight that I usually am. I've never been at this weight. And I don't even birth babies at this weight. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get how hard this is? And so that's hard. So anyways, I have these little milestones. Like the first mile. And this helps. And so if you're trying to lose weight, maybe this will help you too. I don't know. I'll let you know if it happens. But so when I get under 200 pounds, I have a reward. When I get to 180, 185, I have another reward. And then when I get to, I think, 170 or the 170, 160, I have another reward. And so the first milestone, which is getting under 200 pounds, I'm going to buy myself. I want a rug. I want a rug for my living room. I told y'all I'm trying to like do better about decorating my house. Don't look at my room. We'll get to the room later. But so I think I get a rug and one little piece of art to hang on the wall. And so that's my first reward. I wrote it all down next to the weight that I want to lose. And then I had my husband okay because I'm like, listen, we're going to have to have the budget for this. Okay. We're going to have to make the budget for it. And one of them, I think my final one is like a trip or something like that. But <clears throat> what am I doing? I am going to be doing Grow with Joe. I've really been enjoying her stuff. I saw it all over the internet. But 
I'm really enjoying it. It has been so healing because I don't have any more willpower in me. This whole go, 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 go. I don't have it. I'm tired. It's been a hard few years. I'm tired. Okay, we built the house. We did the truck business. We did the, had the baby. It's, it's a lot. And so I needed to do something that was sustainable. Yes, it's hard work losing weight. Yes, you have to have the discipline. Yes, I will be doing all of that. But I love her workouts because it reminds me of dance like I did dance and drill team in high school and it reminds me a lot of that she has such she must have like a workout anointing over her life because the way she smiles at you and she just makes you believe you can do it and I saw this video of her when she had 50 pounds to lose so I'm doing that I'll let y'all know how it goes I've really been enjoying it. I've just been doing like the stuff she has on YouTube I want to get her app soon but that's what I'm doing and then I'm doing I'm trying to stay away from you know a lot of gluten because my body is having such a hard time for some reason processing gluten i can tell the difference like i really can and so i used to make fun of all my friends that are gluten free but you know whatever but yeah so that's what i'm doing i'm drinking my water i'm doing her workouts consistently and trying to move more because i realize even when you do a workout that's not enough as far as like we're supposed to be just moving throughout our day and you think because you're running after kids and you got to get you know 12 kids out the car every time you park you think that's enough action it's not and so i'm doing her workouts once it gets nicer outside and uh things calm down around here i think i will start doing just like an afternoon walk and maybe making that like a prayer walk because that would be hitting two birds with one stone you know my kids can play outside and i can go walk and just pray and get those steps in because i just need to be in motion so i'm trying to do it very in a sustainable way that's not like super intense low carb keto all the things i've been there done that i'm over that life but yeah so that's where i am with my weight if you trying to lose weight, let me know what you're doing. Um, maybe we can <laughs> encourage each other because I'm tired of being at this weight. My joints hurt. It's hard to move around. It's hard to get up off the floor. I am not about that life. Like I need to, it's, it's, it's a gift to be in shape. If you've never been in shape, trust me, it'll be worth it. Life is a lot easier when you can go upstairs and stuff and not be breathing hard. So anyways, love you guys. See you in my next video.